Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we finally got a full reveal of the brand new map and it is indeed a Mexico reserve which a lot of us were expecting at this point and I'm super happy to see that it did end up being Mexico. Now we're going to get into all the species, the brand new weapon and some of the new mechanics and stuff in a second but I think first we should probably take a look at the trailer that they released for this map. Peggy 16. Out here, it's easy to lose your way. There's nothing to guide you but the sun and your own instincts. Survival is never a guarantee. And only the shifting sands bury those who didn't make it. This is Vaquero country. Generations of cowboys have eked out a living on this land through revolution, war, and everything in between. If you're brave enough to strap a gun to your back and follow them, you might be surprised how alive everything is. Maybe you'll spot a collared peccary scurrying through the brushy hills or track a prize-winning whitetail from the woodlands to the desert. You could hunker down and watch the elusive Mexican bobcat stalk antelope jackrabbits. Or why not meet our newest addition? But be warned, the ring-necked pheasant's no ordinary avian. You've got to make this bird use its wings. It's time for things to change. Either we keep on living as our forefathers did and lose our arroyo, the lifeblood of this bare earth, or we dare to carve our own path forward. If you can rise to the challenge, Rancho del Arroyo is ready for you. So as you guys can see, there is a lot of really cool stuff coming with this map, including the collared peccary, the Mexican bobcat, the Rio Grande turkey, the ring-necked pheasant, antelope jackrabbit, mule deer, bighorn sheep, coyote, white-tailed deer. There is a lot of really awesome species on this map, although it doesn't have the coos deer like I was really hoping for. That was by far my number one most wanted species along with the oscillated turkey, but it's cool to see that we did get the collared peccary, which is the javelina for those of you that don't know. So I am very, very happy with that. But you guys are going to be seeing a bunch of footage from the live stream that they did today showing off the brand new map as we're kind of chatting about everything. There was a lot of cool stuff that they ended up showing off, including one of probably my favorite new species, the pheasant, which seems to have a lot of really awesome varieties. And I love the fact that they made it so you have to shoot them airborne and you can't just shoot them on the ground. It makes it very nice, and I guess it adds a bit of realism to it, because in real life, most people aren't going to be shooting a pheasant off the ground. You're going to be flushing them out, taking them out of the air with a shotgun, which brings me to our next thing. We have a brand new shotgun in the game, the 16-gauge pump-action shotgun. I can't remember exactly what the name of it is, but it is a 16-gauge pump-action shotgun with five rounds. I believe it's... yeah, I believe it's five but I think this is going to be a really cool shotgun to use. We do already have a 16 gauge in the game, but it's with the drilling rifle. So the drilling rifle has a 16 gauge along with the 9.3, but we finally have a 16 gauge pump action shotgun, which is really cool. And when TK was taking down these pheasant, he did end up getting himself a diamond level 2. So level 2s can make diamond. And later on, you guys are going to see something else that was a little bit sad to see. And it's going to show you what will happen if you don't end up shooting them in the air. Because obviously it's a thing that can happen. And some people might not know about it. But if you don't know about it, this is what will happen. So as you see when you pick up a diamond animal that you shot on the ground it does not get a medal at all it just gets a nun and it says grounded so you definitely want to make sure that you take those diamonds while they're airborne otherwise it's gonna be bad news 
Right here we have TK taking down a couple of the brand new rabbits and I do gotta say this is probably my favorite model for any of the rabbits currently in the game besides maybe the European rabbit I really do like those probably the most but this is a really close second and I do think it's nice that they didn't just copy paste one of the other rabbits these ones actually do have quite a bit of differences which is really nice. And then once again, we do have turkeys on this map also, which uh, a lot of people were hoping that we wouldn't have, but at least they decided to do a different turkey instead of just the basic turkeys we have on every map, or, well, two maps, I guess. But these ones do have a few differences. I think the biggest one being the more blue head, which actually looks pretty cool. I might actually enjoy these turkeys more than the ones that we currently have on Tiaboroa and SRP, which I believe those ones are the Miriam's turkey, if I'm not mistaken. Right here, TK is getting lined up on some collared peccary, and I think this is probably going to be my favorite of all the new species. Now, they didn't actually take out any of the Mexican bobcat during this, but we get a good look at them in the trailer, so it's not that big of a deal, I guess, but I do gotta say, out of the ones that they shot today, the collared peccary look the best by far. The Mexican bobcat do look really nice, but I think the collared peccary are gonna be one of my favorite things to hunt on this map, besides the white tail and the mule deer, which those ones are pretty much a given on any map. They're just awesome species that pretty much everybody loves. Now that we've seen a lot of the species, let's go ahead and take a look at all of the different skins that you'll be able to get for the shotgun. There's actually three of them. So two of them you can get right off the bat, and then one of them is unlocked through the missions, which is how they've done it on a lot of the maps. Like Tiaboro, I believe, there's two variants of the 303, and then one of them is unlocked via mission. And it looks like it's going to be the same here. But they all look really nice. I'm really excited to use it. It's going to be nice to be able to have a different shotgun to use. And I'm really excited to see what... We're going to be able to do with this shotgun with other species on different maps. I feel like this is going to be really good for goose hunting. So once the geese get fixed, you guys can bet that I'm going to be taking this thing out and trying to take some of them down. So now that we have gone over all of the species list and the brand new shotgun and a little bit about everything on the map, there is a few notes that I have after watching this. And the first one and the main one that a lot of you are going to be excited about is that there is a huge bug fix list coming. Now, they have not put together a, uh, a patch notes yet, but they are going to be doing that soon, and it will have a big list of all the different bugs that are going to be fixed, and I believe Meg also said the ones that are going to be getting fixed in the future will also be talked about, so that is something huge that we can be looking forward to soon. The render glitch is going to be completely fixed, and as far as I understand, the great ones are getting fixed too, so that's a couple huge fixes that we have wanted for... A long time so it's nice to see that happening another thing I wanted to note is you can actually get damaged by the cactuses so don't run into them it uh, won't be a good time another thing that could be coming is possibly some new multi mounts and the reason that I think we are gonna get some new multi mounts is when a lot of people were asking in the chat uh, if we were gonna get any new multi mounts the way that TK answered made it seem like there were some new ones but he just couldn't talk about it yet so I think there might be some new multi mounts coming because the way he said it is that they wouldn't be talking about any multi mounts or uh, fur types or anything else to do with the missions or the maps or anything like that until next week. And that makes me think that there is some multi mounts and they're just saving them for us to be able to see at a later date. But anyway, I think that is pretty much everything we have to look at as of now. Let's just go ahead and let the trailer play one more time and then we will go ahead and end this video. But I really do appreciate everybody watching. Thank you all for clicking on the video. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button, click the like button and ring that notification bell so you guys will not miss any of the future uploads. We do have, I believe, once this map comes out, you guys know I will be out there trying to learn everything that I can about it, and I'll be pumping out the content, so I really would appreciate it if you guys would hit that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot.
Overall, I think this is going to be a fun map. It's missing a few of the species that I was really hoping for, but we also got five brand new species, which is, I think, the most that we've gotten in a while. Even though I'm sure a lot of people are not going to consider the turkeys to be new, even though they do have differences from the normal turkey, I mean, it's still a new species regardless. Other than that, there is four other brand new species, so overall, I'd say this is one of the most... I guess new maps that we've had where there's a lot of new species and it seems like maybe the new multi mounts to go along with them. So that's my thoughts on it as of now. I'm still kind of disappointed about the coos deer, but it is what it is. Maybe we'll get them at a later date. But anyway, with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. But be warned, the ring necked pheasants, no ordinary avian. You've got to make this bird use its wings. It's time for things to change. Either we keep on living as our forefathers did and lose our arroyo, the lifeblood of this bare earth, or we dare to carve our own path forward. If you can rise to the challenge, Rancho del Arroyo is ready for you.